before and after life. I dedicate this poem to my good, good friend, Albert Gill, 1951-2001. I sit down and I think forward of that transformation, like a caterpillar to an invisible African butterfly. Dying is what I am saying. That's what we say when we are alive. A word of communication. Albert is dead. Albert is dying. A powerful poem with a short end, like a short prayer that brings sadness. Happiness depends. Lord have mercy. Now you are looking at a body that lies still, that declared dead by the so-called living. But it still affects the living from close by and far away. <laughs> I make you cry tears of pain. I make you happy and sad. Listen, now that I am not subject to no more pain, yet still the preacher man is praying for me, believing in heaven and in hell like a gambler with his fingers crossed. You know see? They are carrying my coffin, <laughs> making sure it's never fall. Strangers are preparing for me who never met me. How sweet that is. Thank you. For they cannot accept a thing from me, from my world of death. Yes, gal. Now my prayers have been answered. Sure. I am going from this world as I know not when I come out of my mother room into this world. So shall I know not when I leave this world. I am positive sure you believe me now in my poet, in my poem. I will see you when death knock at your door, my friend. At your door, today, tomorrow. Do not forget, nothing is impossible. From a caterpillar into a beautiful African butterfly. You don't have to remember me for sometimes because I know you will be a part of this magic someday. <laughs> what? Oh. Don't be so scared. Why? I am telling you, from a caterpillar to a beautiful African butterfly. Let us read King Solomon's Song of Songs, my poet code. Yes, that's how you go. <laughs>